This message is being broadcast at the request of the Delta County Sheriff's Office. This is a civil emergency message. While there is no imminent danger at this time, listen carefully for more information on how to avoid potential danger. Throughout the day today, there have been multiple instances of wild animal attacks throughout Delta County, mainly within and around the Hiawatha National Forest. Some towns affected include, but are not limited to, Forest Lake, Steuben, Rapid River, and Maplewood. As of right now, there have been no reports of severe injuries or deaths. Out of the two dozen reports, nearly all of them involved some sort of small animal, such as foxes, raccoons, and skunks. It is unknown why there have been so many reports today compared to usual, but there is no imminent threat to life at this time. For now, the best course of action is to avoid forested areas and remain away from wild animals. If you are bitten by a wild animal, it is advised you contact your local health advisor immediately in order to make sure you didn't catch any diseases from these animals. Do not attempt to go out and kill these animals on your own, as animal control has already been called into the area to investigate. If you come into contact with a wild animal, attempt to get away. If you touch an animal, make sure to thoroughly wash your hands with warm water and soap for at least 20 seconds, and avoid touching any mucous membranes on your face. This includes your eyes, your nose, and the inside of your mouth. While this situation is not expected to evolve further, a new message will be issued if more information becomes available on this event. This message is being broadcast at the request of the Delta County Sheriff's Office and local animal control agencies. A local area emergency has been issued for the county of Delta, in northern Michigan, until further notice. At around 1.25 this afternoon, a civil emergency message was issued regarding wild animal attacks in Delta County. That message has expired and is being upgraded to a local area emergency. Over just the past three hours, there have been more than 30 reports of wild animal attacks throughout Delta County. Strange phenomena have been occurring in these animals as well. Animals that were observed acting relatively peacefully over the past few days have become highly aggressive. This includes, but are not limited to, foxes, skunks, raccoons, and other small mammals. Many of these creatures were observed foaming at the mouth, making loud noises, and attempting to attack any human or other creature in sight. After spotting a person, they will often attempt to scratch, claw, and bite at their legs. It is currently unknown what the cause of this outbreak and violent behavior is, but animal control is currently working to figure out the problem. Right now, it is advised that you remain away from areas that wild animals often inhabit, such as the forest or open plains. If you come into contact with a wild animal, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and hot water for 20 seconds afterwards. Avoid touching any mucous membranes on your face, including your eyes, nose, and mouth. If possible, get indoors as soon as you can. While there is still no perceived immediate danger to your life, it is better to eliminate the risk of encountering these animals entirely. This message will repeat every hour until the situation has cleared, or until more information is known. This message is being broadcast at the request of civil authorities within Delta County. A civil danger warning has been issued for Delta County until further notice. The local area emergency issued around two hours ago has been retired and upgraded to a civil danger warning. The situation involving violent animal attacks has gotten worse. There have been upwards of 60 reports of wild animal attacks in just the past two hours alone. There have also been numerous reports of larger animals becoming hostile, including, but not limited to, 
birds, deer, wolves, and even bears in some cases. There have been two confirmed deaths due to this event, one being someone who was mauled to death by a bear just outside of Lake Bluff, Michigan. It is currently unknown what is causing these animals to become hostile, but some believe it to be due to some form of rabies. Rabies is a disease that affects the central nervous system. If contracted, it can cause headaches, discomfort, fatigue, and fever. If medical attention is not received, it can result in permanent brain damage, and even death. Thankfully, rabies usually takes weeks or even months to fully take effect. If you believe you have been exposed to rabies from a wild animal, seek medical attention as soon as possible. Anyone currently outside their homes are advised to seek shelter immediately. Some animals, including wolves, have the ability to see better in the dark than humans can. This makes them especially dangerous hunters during the night. At this time, remain in your shelters, or find a shelter as soon as possible. It is advised you do not go outside, regardless of what you hear. Keep pets indoors through the night, that way they do not come into contact with ravenous animals. If you come into contact with a wild animal, wash your hands and any affected body part thoroughly with soap and hot water for 20 seconds after the encounter. Until then, do not touch your eyes, nose, or mouth. This message will repeat every 30 minutes until the situation has cleared, or until new information is known. This message is being broadcast at the request of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, in conjunction with other civil authority groups in the state of Michigan. A contagious disease warning has been issued for the counties of Delta, Alger, Marquette, Menominee, and Schoolcraft until further notice. Throughout the day today, there have been over 100 instances of wild animal attacks, mainly within Delta County, Michigan. There have now been five confirmed deaths and around 20 severe injuries. The Centers for Disease Control, with the help of local animal control groups, have confirmed that the animals attacking other wildlife and people have a strain of the rabies virus. Rabies is a fatal virus that deals with the nervous system and is transmitted through animal bites and the saliva of infected people or animals. What starts out as general flu-like symptoms evolves over time into neurological symptoms, brain damage, and even death. Some potential signs someone could be experiencing an advanced stage of the virus include, but are not limited to anxiety, confusion, and agitation. In further cases, patients may experience hallucinations, delirium, insomnia, abnormal mental behavior, and hydrophobia, or the fear of water. If you or someone you know is experiencing these symptoms after coming into contact with a wild animal, seek help immediately. There have been no confirmed cases in humans yet, but that is expected to change as people who were bitten are admitted to local hospitals. There is a concerning piece of information about this strain of the virus. Typically, it takes weeks or even months to kill the person or animal with it. But over the past few hours, there have been numerous reports of dead animals laying in the streets or on sidewalks with no apparent wounds that could have killed them. It is believed this strain of the virus could be progressing much faster than it normally does. Right now though, the advice remains the same that is has throughout the day. Remain away from wild animals, and keep your pets indoors. If you are exposed to a wild animal, thoroughly wash any affected body parts with soap and hot water for 20 seconds. Do not touch your eyes, nose, or mouth until your hands are fully clean. The civil danger warning that was issued at 6.45 p.m. is still active at this time as well. This message will repeat every 30 minutes until an all-clear is given, or until new information is available.
This message is being broadcast at the request of the Delta County Sheriff's Office. A law enforcement warning has been issued for the counties of Delta, Alger, Marquette, Menominee, and Schoolcraft, until further notice. Attacks by rabid animals have still been occurring throughout the northern peninsula of Michigan over the past few hours. There have been reports of bigger animals, such as wolves and bears, becoming aggressive against people's property. It is believed that these animals are beginning to actively seek out humans that are inside their shelters. One such instance happened in the town of Manistique, at around 10.30 this evening. Residents reported seeing a pack of wolves attempting to break into the home of their elderly neighbor. The wolves attempted this by throwing their body weight against the front door, trying to break it down. The wolves seemed to know exactly what they were doing, and that they actively wanted to hunt the people inside the home. Thankfully, neighbors with firearms were able to scare away the animals temporarily. It is believed that the rabies virus within these creatures is leading them to become more and more hungry as time goes on. As the rabies virus progresses, the animals slowly become more aggressive and more irritable. There is currently a method to attempt to keep animals at bay, though its true effectivity is unknown. Animals with rabies develop hydrophobia, or the fear of water. Keeping some type of container of water near you, or even turning on your outdoor sprinklers may keep them at bay temporarily. However, if that is not enough, the use of deadly force has been authorized in order to protect you and the ones around you. If you have a firearm, it is recommended that you keep it loaded and nearby at all times. At this time, it is advised you remain in your shelter until a solution can be found to deal with these rabid animals. Stay tuned to local news media for more information and future updates on this event. This message is an emergency update, issued by civil authorities within the state of Michigan. Please stay tuned for further information on a local emergency. Over the past 20 hours, there have been a myriad of reports regarding wild animal attacks across the northern peninsula of Michigan. Counties impacted include, but are not limited to, Delta, Alger, Schoolcraft, Marquette, and Menominee. As of 7.45 this morning, there was around 400 total reports of wild animal attacks, with 8 deaths, and around 35 serious injuries. It has been confirmed by the Centers for Disease Control and local animal control agencies that an outbreak of the rabies virus is happening in the area. Rabies is a disease that attacks the nervous system. Symptoms start out similarly to the flu, but slowly evolve into neurological and psychological effects, ultimately leading to death if left untreated. This particular strain is notable from other instances of rabies, as it seems to progress much faster. Instead of taking weeks or months to take full effect, it seems that animals can undergo a full change in less than 24 hours. Throughout the morning, there have been multiple calls from concerned residents about their pets possibly catching the virus. If you believe your pet has contracted rabies, it would be best to isolate them in a room by themselves, away from other people and animals. It is possible that veterinary workers may be able to help your pet later, but this is looking increasingly unlikely. If the animal becomes too aggressive, lethal force may have to be used. The use of lethal force has been authorized for all residents in order to protect yourself and the ones around you. Remain in your shelters in this time until more information is known about this event. Only go outside if it's an absolute emergency. If you decide to go outside, know you are taking a great risk to your life. But if you must go outside, it is best to avoid areas where animals often reside, such as forests, or open plains. This message will repeat every hour until more information is known, or until an all-clear is given.
This message is being broadcast at the request of the state government of Michigan. A shelter-in-place warning has been issued for all residents of the northern peninsula of Michigan until further notice. The affected area extends from Gogeba County on the western end of the peninsula to Mackinac and Chippewa on the eastern end. Roads are currently being blocked off by military personnel to try and contain the spread of rabid animals in the area. It is no longer safe to be outside under any circumstances, and doing so will likely get you hurt or killed. It has been reported the rabies virus has begun to spread into human beings. Within 18 to 24 hours, humans undergo a rapid shift in mood, personality, and temperance. These people will usually become very irritable, aggressive, and violent. It has been reported that these people will lash out against almost any person or animal in their vicinity, even their own loved ones. If someone around you is exhibiting this behavior, do not hesitate to call 911. People that seem to be infected with rabies have also been observed committing numerous crimes, including, but not limited to, arson, grand theft auto, theft, assault, and more. Do not attempt to approach or apprehend these people on your own. The virus seems to make them much stronger physically, meaning they will likely overpower you quickly in a fight. Symptoms that show a person may have an advanced stage of rabies include, but are not limited to, extreme anger or agitation, irritability, delusions, and general mental instability. Local police and military forces are working to not only fight off the animals, but these rabid individuals as well. Where possible, these people are being apprehended and not killed. But if they pose a significant enough threat, lethal force must be used. If you believe they have gone past the point of no return, don't hesitate, that is what they will rely on. Those creatures are more animal than they are human now. Remain indoors at this time. Block all windows and entrances, and do not leave food sitting out, as this may attract animals. Civil liberties have been suspended until this situation is under control. If you need assistance, contact your local police department or sheriff's office. This message will repeat every 30 minutes until more information is known, or until an all-clear is given. This message is being broadcast at the request of civil authorities in the state of Michigan. A boil water advisory has been issued for the state of Michigan until further notice. Workers trying to maintain the water supply during the rabies outbreak have noticed dead animals showing up in and around the water supply. In addition to this, there were numerous reports of people, believed to be rabid individuals, spitting and bleeding into the water supply in some towns. The rabies virus is transmitted through the blood or saliva of infected individuals. Usually, the rabies virus does not last long inside sources of water. But considering the altered mechanics of this specific strain compared to other known instances of rabies, it is believed that the virus can survive longer in water than usual. When drinking water out of any systems in your house, it is advised that you bring it to a boil before drinking it. This should kill off any excess bacteria or viruses lingering in the water. It is also advised that you do not take baths or showers if you have open cuts or wounds on your body. Boil water before using it to wash wounds as well. Let it cool off first though, as pouring it on while it is still very hot could cause serious burns. If you do shower or bathe, avoid getting water into your mouth, eyes, or nose. If possible, drink bottled water, as it has already been prepackaged and has not been exposed to the virus. It is unknown when the water supply will be back to a safe drinking level. It seems that this contamination has been an intentional act by rabid humans, in order to try and spread the virus to others. If you notice that you have developed an irrational fear of water, you may have already begun to develop the virus. This can come from such actions as drinking water, showering, or bathing. Generally, the most at-risk areas for water contamination are people within the northern peninsula of Michigan. But if you are in the southern portion of Michigan, or even eastern Wisconsin, it's not a bad idea to follow the advice in this alert. 
Stay tuned to local news media for more information and future updates on this event. This message is being broadcast at the request of the Delta County Sheriff's Office. A 9-1-1 telephone outage emergency is taking place within Delta County. Locations impacted include, but are not limited to, Escanaba, Ford River, Gladstone, Rapid River, and Garden Corners. Due to a combination of high collar volume and damage to infrastructure, 9-1-1. Emergency services will likely be very delayed or unavailable for the foreseeable future. The infrastructure damage comes from numerous damaged communication lines in the area. This is believed to be due to the ongoing rabies outbreak occurring in this area. It is currently theorized that animals attacking property and rabid humans doing it on purpose are causing these service interruptions. At this time, it seems more likely to be the rabid humans as they have been observed to be trying to intentionally sabotage services around the area, including water, electricity, and communications. If you need urgent assistance, call your local law enforcement office directly. These phone numbers can be found on each station's website. Even if you can get a hold of the station, response times may be slow. If possible, only call in the case of an absolute emergency. Stay tuned to local news media for information and future updates on this event. The current time is 9.45 a.m. Central Standard Time. Here is your forecast for the next seven days. On Saturday, it will be sunny, with a high of... This message is being broadcast by the National Weather Service office in Marquette, Michigan. A wildfire warning has been issued for the counties of Delta, Alger, Schoolcraft, and Marquette, until further notice. At around 8.30 this morning, a wildfire was observed within the Hiawatha National Park. While the cause of this fire is unknown, it is currently believed to be due to either rabid humans trying to cause as much destruction as possible, or regular people trying to kill off some of the rabid animals in the area. Regardless of the cause, multiple towns in the area are at risk, and will have to leave the area as soon as possible. This includes but are not limited to the towns of Rapid River, Maplewood, Isabella, Steuben, Forest Lake, Alton, and Nama. Generally, anyone within or around the Hiawatha National Forest area is in danger from this wildfire. This fire will likely burn uncontrolled, as a majority of emergency services are out of order due to the ongoing rabies outbreak. If you see the fire approaching, leave the area immediately. While the highest risk is generally in Delta and Alger counties, the fire could potentially spread to the counties of Schoolcraft and Marquette. Stay tuned to the National Weather Service and local news media for future updates on this event. This message is being broadcast at the request of civil authorities in the state of Michigan. An immediate evacuation order has been issued for the entire northern peninsula of Michigan, active immediately. This includes the counties of Gogebeck, Ontonagon, Houghton, Keweenaw, Baraga, Iron, Dickinson, Marquette, Menominee, Delta, Alger, Schoolcraft, Luce, Chippewa, and Mackinac. 
the situation involving rabid animals and people has become too much to keep under control. It is now believed there are well over 500 rabid humans, all seeming to have the intent to do harm. Numerous neighborhoods, public property, and land in general have been burned due to arsonists. There have been numerous reports of killings in the streets by rabid humans. Anybody who remains uninfected needs to evacuate immediately. There are currently two military checkpoints, one at Iron Mountain, on the Wisconsin-Michigan border, and one at Mackinac City, between the northern and southern portions of Michigan. Upon arrival at a checkpoint you will be put under quarantine to ensure you do not have the rabies virus in your system. Here, you will be thoroughly inspected for animal bites, and a blood sample will be taken. If you observe someone outside exhibiting the neurological symptoms of rabies, do not attempt to stop and save them. This puts you and others at serious risk of injury or death. If you are approached by a person, check for symptoms of neurological distress or foaming at the mouth. If they seem to be getting aggressive towards you, they are likely not human anymore. Do not hesitate to use lethal force, as that is what they depend on you doing. They are banking on the fact that their human nature is gone, and that yours is not. Remember, when in doubt, shoot it out. It has also been observed that animals and rabid humans alike have been attempting to bite, slash, and flatten tires around the area. Check your tires before attempting to make an escape. It is unknown if people will be able to return back to their homes in the near future, but right now the main concern is keeping as many people alive as possible. This message will repeat every 15 minutes until more information is known, or until an all-clear is given. Good afternoon everyone, my name is James Bold, here with the 3 p.m. news for First Coast Weather and News. We start the show today with a very odd story that has been developing out of northern Michigan. According to wildlife control groups, multiple counties in northern Michigan were experiencing a surprising uptick in wild animal attacks near forested communities. This originally started out mainly in the counties of Delta and Alger, but slowly grew to encompass the entire northern peninsula of the state. This all began on November 20, and is still currently ongoing. On November 23, the Center for Disease Control confirmed that the area was experiencing an outbreak of rabies. Rabies is a disease that usually causes animals to turn extremely violent, but it can also infect humans. This strain was particularly odd as it seemed to have altered properties compared to other known instances of rabies outbreaks. The two main characteristics being that the virus usually kills off its host within a few days, rather than a few weeks or months, and that the virus seemed to be more resistant to water than usual. What really made this specific rabies outbreak deadly was the drastic change in human behavior seen in those who caught it. Human beings that caught the virus seemed to almost revert back to primal instincts, like the animals that gave it to them in the first place. Many people that were known for being calm, collected, and kind-hearted individuals turned into creatures of pure anger. Often, people who were not infected would try their best to reason with these people, with no results. Regardless of the strain of the virus and what caused it to mutate, it has now caused tens of thousands of people to be displaced from their homes. A humanitarian crisis is underway in the area, as what remains left of the survivors in the area are scrambling to escape. The National Guard has been called into the area to try and assist the evacuation efforts. Also contributing to the crisis is the burning of the Hiawatha National Forest. This forest takes up a majority of Delta and Alger counties, complicating evacuation efforts. As of this morning, the known death toll of this disaster is 153 people, along with hundreds of critical injuries. Due to the fast progression of this virus, those infected will likely die before they can receive medical treatment. Military checkpoints have been established on both sides of the peninsula to try and prevent the spread of the virus further. People who manage to escape to these checkpoints must undergo a three-day quarantine to ensure they do not have the virus in their system. 
Our hearts go out to anyone who has been affected by this awful virus, and we here at First Coast Weather and News pray for a speedy recovery for the area. This is definitely a strange story, knowing an entire chunk of United States land has been reclaimed by nature. This is only temporary though, as National Guard forces are expected to begin cleaning up the area soon. We will keep you updated as this strange story unfolds further, so stay tuned for future updates. Now, on to the 7-day forecast. 